Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. You know what? I feel so naked right now. Can you see why? Exactly. I'm not wearing any highlighter on my face and I'm feeling so so naked. I can remember a friend of mine when I was in college. She used to wear like winged eyeliner, like bold winged eyeliner every single day and she was like you know what, if I do not wear those winged eyeliners, I feel so naked. And right now, I can relate to her and I can see myself being naked because I'm not wearing any highlighter. I And I am a highlighter junkie. Highlighter is a must for me. There is a reason why I'm not wearing any highlighter and that is today I'm going to review this Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive for you. Now this has been in the States for a really long time but this was launched in India on Nykaa actually like a couple of uh, months ago and I thought of just doing a review of this highlighter for you all in case you want to grab this and not only that I will also share with you a drugstore tube of this particular highlighter and trust me that one is like a spot on tube of this highlighter and I'm going to share with you that one as well so yeah without further ado let's get started so let's just first talk about the price it retails for $29 in the states and it retails for 2800 rupees in india so it is a bit pricey and let's talk about the packaging it comes with a very nice classy uh, cardboard packaging like this with white and uh, purple detailing in it and the shade and everything is written right on the back and when you open it you get this plastic square uh, like box over here and let me tell you it is matte okay the packaging it is matte and it is so luxurious I am highly highly impressed with the packaging and when you open it be ready here is the gorgeousness I hope you can see yes look at this it is a like full-size highlighter and it has some kind of a uh, pattern in it like wheel like pattern and you also get a very nice a mirror with this highlighter which is again great the mirror is actually pretty nice i mean i have used this mirror a multiple time for doing my makeup and it is really great for traveling as well you are getting a nice mirror you are getting your highlighter so it is a pretty nice packaging according to me and let's talk about the texture when you touch it it is oh my god it is so creamy so smooth and buttery and look at that it is very 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 pigmented now the color is like a true champagne gold color and i can see that this shade this particular shade it is flattering for almost every skin tone like look at the shade it is like universal champagne gold highlight you cannot complain about the shade no matter what skin tone what undertone you have this shade is gonna match you perfectly and it is like perfect for my skin tone i have like medium indian skin tone and for me it is like perfection it is like perfection now let's just talk about the uh, formula and texture as I mentioned, it is so creamy and buttery smooth and it is very, very pigmented. Now, let me warn you, if you are not like a bang on, blinging, blinding, highlight kind of a person, then you may not like this highlighter because it is like a very intense, like intense to the power infinity, very intense and very, very blinding highlight. Of course, you can be a bit light-handed and achieve that uh, like subtle kind of a look but it won't look that subtle like if you use the essence cosmetics highlighter pure nude highlighter it is very very subtle and it is like that moonlit glow like you are glowing from within but with that highlighter it won't happen it will be a very noticeable very bang on blaming highlight you know so that is one thing 
Now I am a highlighter junkie and I want my highlighter to be gleaming and blinding till when I first use it. Dude, I'm not even kidding. I took my brush, just I used it in a regular way and I was like, whoa. It was looking like a strap of highlight on my cheeks. It was that intense, you know. And I had to take my sponge and I had to like tone it down a bit. So it is that blinding and that intense. You have to be really, really careful while applying this highlighter. So if I want to wear this highlighter during daytime, I take a very little amount of product and I just blend it seamlessly and it looks wet on my cheeks as if I am sweating, you know. And if I wear it during night, of course I can go heavy handed. There is no rules about makeup, right? So yeah, that is my review of this Ofra Cosmetic Highlighter and I highly, highly recommend you to get this highlighter if you are a highlighter junkie. It is blinding, it is buttery smooth and one more thing it is not glittery at all when you apply it on your cheeks i hate basically glittery highlighters but it it is not glittery it is like pure pigment you know what i mean so yeah when you apply it on your cheeks it just instantly makes your cheeks look juicy sweaty and wet it is not at all glittery and I have used some highlighters I mean after applying them I can see those glitter particles they are moving around and from my cheekbones they they literally transfer to my cheeks right here and it is not at all flattering sight I know that but with this highlighter it does not happen when you apply it on your cheeks it stays put all day long i mean i have tested this highlighter for like eight hours nine hours and it was still there like it was still intact it was still that intense after like eight or nine hours so yeah i highly highly recommend you get i highly highly recommend you to get this highlighter it does not emphasize any texture on my face i mean there are some highlighters they just exaggerate all those textures pores lines fine lines everything but it does not do that it is like wet buttery smooth it does not emphasize any texture so let me just swatch it for you here on my arms and you can see there is like one swipe and look how pigmented and how intense that is you know i I just love this stuff. Now let's just talk about the drugstore dupe of this beauty right here. And let me tell you, when it first arrived and I swatched it on my arm, the formula, the intensity, it was very, very similar. And I'm actually gonna share with you side by side comparison. I will apply this highlighter on this cheek and the drugstore dupe on that cheek so that you can see clearly what I'm talking about. When I first swatched Rodeo Drive, it reminded me a lot, a lot of this Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold. Now let me tell you, when you hold it side by side like this, I mean Molten Gold, it looks a bit dark on the pan. I mean, you can see right on the swatches and side by side comparison molten gold looks a bit darker of course it is a darker but on cheeks it looks exact the same you will see it shortly it looks exact the same the formula the intensity the touch it is exact the same i mean of course molten gold is not at all powdery or glittery it looks wet on your cheeks it is very very intense and so the Ofra cosmetic highlighter is the formula the intensity how they apply on your cheek they are exact the same as you guys can see both are very very pigmented now let's just swatch the Maybelline master chrome highlighter and here it goes you know what when you swatch it it looks a bit like dark I mean when you just compare it side by side it looks a bit uh, dark like a bit but on cheeks it looks the same first I'm taking you know my favorite highlighter brush this is 
my real techniques highlighter brush and it is like squeaky clean there is nothing at all so are you guys ready i'm taking like a little bit like this cutting off the excess otherwise it's gonna look a strip of highlight and here you go Can you guys see? Isn't it blinding? Like, oof, it's pretty. Let's just quickly clean the brush. I have a kitchen towel over here, and I'm literally just swirling my brush to make sure there is nothing left. And yeah, there is nothing left. I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Chrome. I'm going to be tapping off the excess and here you go. Look at this. Isn't it really, really blinding? Oof. Now, can you guys see any difference? Honestly, I cannot see any difference. If they both look exact the same. And let me tell you one thing. So there was a house party and I actually wore two highlighters on two sides like this highlighter was on that side and the molten gold was on that side and I asked my friends if they can see any difference and they were like no it, it's looking exactly the same so I was like yes I have found a deal I mean I swear they just could not spot any difference any difference according to them they both looked exactly the same and when I told them you know what I am wearing two different highlighters on two sides and they're like what are you kidding me I was like no I'm not it's true and yeah that is the story so again I'm just cleaning up my brush and let's just lit up the face a bit more So that is Rodeo Drive. Now I have to take Molten Gold, right? And here goes Molten Gold. Look at this. Look at this. Whoa. So here is the final result. High end drugstore. So you guys saw that demo, you saw the side by side comparison of these two highlighters and now you can understand what I was talking about and you can make up your mind whether you want to grab it or not. But according to me, this highlighter, this Ofra Cosmetics highlighter is a great one. So that was my review, swatches, comparison and side-by-side -side application video of this particular baby right here do i recommend it 100 percent if you are a highlighter chunky and if you want to collect more and more highlighter if you want that wet looking intense sweaty highlighter of course go for it so you saw them in action now you can like it's up to you whether you want to grab this one or this one according to me they are exact the same they look exact the same on your cheeks exact the same like juicy kind of texture buttery smooth intense highlight they 
two are exactly the same. So yeah, it's up to you whether you want to grab this one or this one. So yeah, that's it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description but down below. So please go ahead and check that out and stay tuned because so many fun videos are coming up next. So yeah, see you soon in my next one. Till then, bye and take care.